Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you guys my top most favorite nude lipsticks in my collection and also lip liners. I will show you inserts of every single one applied and I will talk to you all about why I like them, where I want to wear them, the texture and all the good stuff. This video is actually an idea that came from one of you guys. Thank you so much. I really loved doing this. I took my time, swatched everything and I really thought that it was actually a brilliant video to show everybody the nudes that I enjoy because I feel like everybody wears nudes and anybody needs a good nude lipstick. So if you're interested, continue watching. And if you're new here, please subscribe down below and let's get into these lipsticks. So I'm going to start with my lip liners. I'm going to just tell you the three that I have and then I'll show them in action with other lipsticks. So the first one I want to talk about is the creamiest one out of all of them. And it is the M Cosmetics uh, in color mink. And this is it right here. And I would say that this is um, the deepest in color out of all of them and the most brownish undertone. It's, it's a cool brown though. It's not a super warm. There's not a lot of yellow undertone in there. There is just a little bit of coolness in it. And I think that's why I love it so much. It works with so, so many lipsticks and I, I can pair this with pretty much any of the lipsticks I'm going to talk about. Next one is, I would say, my most ever used lip liner. And it is this Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. This is their Artist Color Pencil. And this is, I would say, the second creamiest out of the bunch. And it is just slightly more... Uh, I wouldn't say it's pink. It's just a little bit lighter than mink. And I don't know if you can tell, but mink seems to have a bit more cooler undertone than the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. I wouldn't say that this is extremely creamy, but it is. it blends in really nice. Like it doesn't tug at your lips and you can kind of feather it into your lips and it works so well. It's just such a good staple uh, liner. And the fact that it gets sharpened, you get quite a lot of product in here and it doesn't dry out. And the last one I want to share is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Now this one is, I would say, the lightest out of all of them. It's very similar to the Makeup Forever. So that's the Iconic Nude makeup forever in the M Cosmetics. So these are kind of similar iconic nude and makeup forever. I would say that the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit harder. Like you, it drags slightly, but it lasts forever. Um, it's nothing that it's uncomfortable, but compared to the other ones, I think this is the driest formula out of them. Um, and the colors very similar to Makeup Forever. I think it's just a little bit lighter and the undertone is kind of similar. Maybe Makeup Forever has a little bit more pink than the rest, but again, they're similar. They're my favorite. These are it. <laughs> now moving on to the lipsticks. So let's start with one that it is the most long lasting ever. <laughs> and that is this Chanel lipstick. This is the only one that's not a bullet lipstick. And this is in the color Timeless Beige, I'm pretty sure. Yes, color 166 Timeless Beige. The reason I picked this one as one of my favorite nudes is because it's a great nude. But also it's because it lasts all day long. Like you could eat a burger and you could still have this one on. It does not flake. The formula is incredible. Um, and again, it lasts all day long and the color is beautiful. I would say that this one is a good basic neutral undertone. If I were to put it in a category, I would say it's neutral to like slight, slight coolness. Um, I don't see a lot of yellow undertone. If anything, I see just, just a little bit of pink, but definitely more in that beigey 
undertone if that makes sense it's a lipstick that matches pretty much everything and i really like to pair it with the iconic nude i think these two work so well together they complement each other i like that the iconic nude is not too brown it's not too pink it's just good neutral and it's slightly slightly deeper than the lipstick so this one is my most long wearing option in the nude category the next one is a new formula that i have tried not too long ago and that is the new bite beauty formula now i am a fan of bite beauty i really like a lot of their things in when they came out with these lipsticks i just ran out and bought five different ones because i was so amazed by the formula the formula is so extremely creamy but it's a powdery matte formula and i just love the way it looks on my lips i think it's a very flattering because it kind of tones down my lips in a way i do not have very defined lips so i always always will use a lip liner and if i put something super shiny on my lips i feel like it makes them look not very defined so when i find a good matte lipstick i prefer that over anything shiny so when i tried this formula i was in love like on initial application they last really well they are hydrating you do not feel dryness and it doesn't emphasize like your lines in your lips I think this formula is extremely unique. Now, the color I picked is tamarind, and I will say that I like every single color that I tried. Somebody suggested Sugar Babe, is that the name? And I am planning to eventually purchase that, maybe on a sale. But um, the color tamarind is a very, more of a peachy, nude undertone maybe even a little bit of yellow under there um i like it because it's not pink i am not the biggest fan of pink lipsticks i prefer a lot more beigey undertone more brownness to them and so this one i would say has the most beigey undertone out of the ones that i've tried sesame is also a really pretty color but that one has a little bit more pink uh than this tamarind color so i I would say that this one is my favorite nude lipsticks from the ones uh, that I tried from by beauty also the color chai and marisa out of this world I love those colors so much but for me those aren't nudes they're more a pop of color the lip liner I used is the m cosmetics to go with this by beauty but honestly I think it would work with any other ones like they all work with each other the next lipstick is the newest in my collection and it quickly became my favorite lipstick and that is the new charlotte tilbury catwalking it is in her super nudes collection and i've been waiting for charlotte tilbury to come with a true nude collection all her other lipsticks have so much pink undertone rosiness and that's just not my favorite so this is my kind of nude it has a bit of yellowish undertone it has a little bit of brown there's a good balance with a pink as well it's just perfect it has all the right undertones for me and what i like and i paired this one with m cosmetics but again i feel like i could pair it with any other lip liners that i talked about they all work so well together with this one i just wanted just a little bit more definition so that's why i picked the m cosmetics and i like the textures together this is a charlotte tilbury matte revolution formula and i really really like it it is so beautiful it is not drying at all and so if i had to pick one at this moment one my favorite nude lipstick it would definitely be the catwalking from charlotte tilbury the next one i don't think is available right now but i'm hoping that it will come back in stock and that is the lisa eldridge velvet affair lipstick out of all the lipsticks i'm going to talk about today this is the deepest one however i can definitely 
use this just as a regular nude lipsticks. Uh, you can either apply it like pretty heavy and have it a little bit darker or you could actually pat it like what I do. I put it on, pat it with my fingers or my hand and I just get more of that wash of color. And this formula is incredible. It is extremely pigmented and I would compare this formula more to a Tom Ford formula in the matte. Um, it has quite a lot of pigment and thickness to it. It is not this kind of light textury um, lipstick. It has consistency to it and a lot, a lot of pigment on initial application. But the undertone is what gets me with this lipstick. This lipstick is one of the first undertones that I finally have found that wasn't too pink or too yellow or too brown. It was just perfection, at least for my skin tone. I honestly love all the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I think the Forte is her undertones. She knows her color so well and she comes out with such flattering lipsticks that um, it's kind of hard to beat her. And with this one, I paired it with the M Cosmetics Mink liner. Now moving on to one of the only pinky undertone lipsticks and that is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. I could not not include this one. I have gone through quite a few of these lipsticks. I have bigger ones, smaller ones, and this isn't super pink, but it definitely is the pinkest out of all of them. I pair this with the iconic nude. I think her Pillow Talk lip liner is just too pink. Like those together is just too much for me, too much pink. But when I pair it with the Iconic Nude, it's a perfect match um, because the Iconic Nude takes a little bit of the pinkness away and it just works so well. This one is a matte formula from Charlotte Tilbury and it is so beautiful. I've been wearing this since it came out and I think it's just beautiful. I think it works on so many brides. Um, I use this one in my kit a lot and I think it really is just a stunning color. Next one is a, one of probably the nudest ones I have and that is the Patrick Ta Oh She's Single lipstick. Um, this one is a one that I kind of picked up on a whim. I just kind of walked through Sephora, saw Tester, swatched it and I was like, wow, the formula is really, really nice. And I picked it up and this was the one thing that I wore for the longest time. This one is a bit more peachy, uh, peachy brown undertone. I feel like with this one, I need a liner. Without it, I, it doesn't look uh, that great on me, but I do really, really like it with a liner. And the liner I pick is the Makeup Forever. I really like the way these complement each other. I like the texture, the color, that they work so well together. And I used to wear this all the time. I mean, this used to be my jam like a year ago. It is so beautiful. It is so creamy. I like the matteness that you have. And this one has quite a lot of pigment as well. It has such a beautiful peachy, brownie undertone. It is not too nude that you look dead, but it gives you just a little bit of color. And mixing that with the liner, I think they make such a beautiful pair. And I just love this one. It is such a beautiful, creamy formula. I kind of feel like I'm repeating myself and saying kind of the same thing about each lipsticks, but I think I just really enjoy one kind of formula and I just keep picking those colors and formulas. So it is what it is. Moving on to this beautiful packaging. Look at that. It has little sparkles all through it. It is stunning. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Romance Lipstick. And this one is the Kissing Formula. This has a little bit of shine to it. It's extremely creamy. So I think this is the only one that's not matte, but I really like the color. I like the way this looks on the lips. I don't think it's too shiny. I think it just has such 
such a beautiful finish and this one i paired it with makeup forever lip liner i just really like the way they complement each other it just looks so romantic it really looks elegant it doesn't look like it's too much it looks just very feminine and i do like the finish of this i don't think it's just too glossy it just gives such a beautiful shine to the lips the lines are diminished and it's just beautiful um it's such a good staple lipstick in my collection as you can see i really like charlotte tilbury lipsticks and the last two lipsticks i want to talk about are my tom ford lipsticks i am honestly not even sure if they're both still in stock. I thought he revamped his collection at one point, so I don't even know, I didn't check. So the first one I wanna talk about is the color First Time. I would say out of all of them, this is the brightest, but lightest out of all of them. This definitely has a really strong peachy undertone peachy pink undertone i like that it has that peach there because too much pink i don't like but this i absolutely have to wear a lip liner with it and the lip liner i picked is the iconic nude i think because the iconic nude is a little bit lighter it won't clash with the lipsticks so i won't have 90s lips this formula from tom ford is extremely thick so you really feel it on the lips. It is extremely creamy in its full opacity. This lipstick used to be my go-to lipstick. This one and the next one. I might as well just bring up the next one. The next one is 33 Universal Appeal. And this one is more of a cool tone pink undertone. But pairing it with the iconic nude lip liner, it just balances out a little bit. So I used to always wear these two together. I would put the iconic nude lip liner. I would put the 33 Universal Appeal all over. And in the center, I would put the first time. It was my go-to lipstick for such a long time. It is beautiful, extremely creamy, and every time I wear this, everybody asks me, what do you have on your lips? I guess it's just such a flattering color. Uh, the formula is extremely pigmented and full opacity, extremely creamy, and it just makes your lips look juicy without being glossy the tom ford lipsticks are ridiculously expensive just like all his other stuff um and i think i got this for my birthday or christmas like i remember choosing this as a gift because i was so intrigued by the price and why they would charge so much and as i don't think the price justifies the formula the formula is very beautiful but again you have charlotte tilbury you have lisa eldridge Patrick Ta, other ones that aren't quite as expensive as the Tom Ford lipsticks. So these are my favorite nude lipsticks that I own. And there were a couple other liquid lipsticks that I enjoyed, but I thought that these are the ones that I always want to gravitate towards. The liquid lipsticks are really nice, but I kind of have to force myself to use them. Even though I like the color, I just don't love dryness on my lips and so i thought i would just keep it to these because these really are my go-to they're sitting right here next to me um the formula is amazing the colors just work so well with my skin so i hope this was helpful i would love to know your favorite nude lipsticks because i'm always on the hunt for trying new things uh, i already have a couple of suggestions from you guys um, that i wrote down and so when the time comes i may pick some up up and let you guys know what i think about them but hopefully this was helpful leave me comments down below i love to chatting with you and i will see you guys in my next video